And then we have a form right here. And so um, foo, we're receiving that form value, first, last, subscribe, on. And uh, we're executing this template and passing in first, last, subscribe for a person, type person, which we define up here, first, last, subscribed, and passing in all of those that came from the form. And so on this uh, page, which is um, index.gohtml, we have a template header. So here's define header and end. Define header and end. And so we defined header and we call that right there. And so it just takes all this stuff right here and it puts it right there. So we're defining the header template. And we're saying, hey, give me the template header right here. And then we have the same with template footer. Define footer. And then put the footer right here, template footer right there. And then in between those things, on this page we have a form and method post. Since action is not specified, it's going to send right back to could specify action, say process or whatever. But since action is not specified, it sends right back to where it came from, which is that. Because foo runs index.gohtml, and that's what we're looking at. And then here's where we name the variables. First, last, subscribe. It's not IDs. IDs are used for targeting elements, aspects of the DOM. So objects on the DOM. IDs are used for targeting objects on the DOM with JavaScript or CSS. All right, so that thing right there with that ID. There can only be one ID, one ID identifier for each page. So I can't use first name again. So a lot of times you'll see ID first, name first, but I name them different here so you could see what they do. So here you can see this label for first name is targeting this ID first name. Those are two different elements in HTML. We have that one. We have this one, first name, first name, right? And then first is what gets passed. That's the variable name. When the form submits the data, the variable is going to be called first and it'll be holding a value. So we're saying, hey, retrieve this form value from the request first, right? And that's where it was named here, first, last, subscribe, first, last, subscribe. So that's uh, all of that. So when we run this, it'll give us a form. We could fill out the information. And then, you know, when that information comes through, we'll pass it here, request form value, and, uh, and it'll come out here and be displayed. So what happens if we request a form value and there is no form value? We're asking for form value and there's nothing there. That's a good question. I don't know. We could read this. Request form value returns the first value for the named component of the query. Post and put body parameters take precedence over URL, query string values. All right, so post through the body, body parameters, body of the request. URL is git, All right? Git sends values through the URL. Form value calls parse multi-part form and parse form if necessary and ignores any errors occurred by these functions. If key is not present, form value returns the empty string. So, right, if the key, like we're asking for first, right, and there's nothing there, 
it returns an empty string. To access multiple values of the same key, key call parse form and then inspect request form directly. So a little bit more information if we need to get technical and tricky. But so this will return empty string. This one will return false. So let's see what happens when we run it. Just curious. So you can see false already got passed through. And here we have empty strings being passed in. But false already came through because we asked, hey, is empty string equal to on? And it's false, right? And so as I pass data in, Sid, nice to see you. James Bond and True came through. So that's kind of nice. Yay. So do you want to take a moment and code up a form? Hands-on exercise, you like that? Let me see a show of hands. Yeah, one Eric, two Eric's, and Z, code up a form. Yeah, or keep rolling. Z, what do you want? Code up a form? Keep rolling? What do you want? Huh? I don't feel so good. You sick? Yeah. I think something wrong with the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. If you come with the phone, why not? Okay. I'll keep recording so you can watch from home. Oh, okay. What? Okay. Uh, Jeff, where are you at? More coding? 